Boxing on the Zone, sponsored by William Hill. Yes, Peter McGrail looks to put his career back on track when he faces Salford's former British champion Mark Leach in our top of the bill here at Liverpool's Exhibition Centre. A terrific looking English super welterweight title eliminator between Sheffield's unbeaten Janae Bostan and Essex's informed Jack Martin could steal tonight's show. And it's a quick turnaround to the ring for popular scouser Steve Clark after the middleweight prospect made it win number two in Manchester earlier this month. An all-South American World Championship tear-up as Brazilian star Beatrice Ferreira takes on Argentinian Yanina Lescano for the vacant IBF World Lightweight Championship. But kicking all the action off here is another McGrail, the unbeaten featherweight Joe, who will be looking for win number 10 when he goes up against London's Ryan Walker. OK, boys, if a call break, take a step back. Don't deliberately throw punches to the back of the head. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Touch gloves. There's a nice right hand from McGraw there, just as Walker was letting his shots go, and you can just see the difference in hand speed. Another right hand from McGraw. Good finish to the round from McGraw, following it up with that sharp shot to the head, with powerful work to the body at the end of the fourth round, halfway. Some good headshots from Walker, wasn't yeah. it, just before that? Solid exchanges with both men landing across this final round, the eighth and final round, the round in which Ryan Walker's corner told him could change his life. Bell sounds, and that was a tough, tough test for Joe McGrail. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds here in Liverpool, we go to referee Steve Gray's scorecard. It reads 77 to 75 for your winner, He's still undefeated, Joe McGrail. It's about 10 minutes from now to the next ring walks. Okay, folks, we're both in the dressing room. Both know I expect. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both of you watch your heads in close. Good luck to you both. Touch gloves. Touch gloves. I thought there was something to take note of there as well, Barry, that when she was hit and hurt as she is again now, she didn't respond for just about the first time in the contest. And Ferreira now has just over 20 seconds to pile on the pressure here with Escano on the ropes and offering very little in return. Relentless pressure here from Ferreira. Big shots landing. Huge cut. And now the there's a huge cut, as Sky says, above the left eye. Lescano in desperate straights. She's absolutely spent here, Lescano. You can see Howard Foster having a good look at that cut. Stop watching. Time out. And what will Howell Foster decide this time? And this time he decides that Lescano has taken enough. And so she is led back to her corner. And Ferreira also back to her corner. I think that was a very good call from the referee. I think Lescano is probably a little bit too tough for her and good there. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Howard Foster calls a halt to this contest due to an injury from a clash of heads at one minute and 49 seconds of round number six. Therefore, we go to the judges' scorecards for a technical decision. Steve Gray and Leszek Jankowiak, 59 to 55. Jorg Milka, 58 to 55. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new IBF lightweight champion of the world, Beatrice the Beast Ferreira. So a powerful winning performance confirmed by the scorecards for Beatrice Ferreira, the new IBF world lightweight champion. Right, I spoke you both in the dressing room. Not expect that lot professors at all times obey my instructions. Watch red. Any questions? Let's go to work. Oh, oh that, 
That was beautiful, right up a cut, left hook. And Martin, to his credit, took it and is still stepping forward into the fray. Oh, the chin of Martin, honestly. I mean, the shots were beautiful, the right uppercut and the left hook, but the chin. I thought he hit you. <laughs> I don't know how it was. What a shot, honestly, but what a chin. He's boxing so lovely, he I'm really so is. And he's sharp, it was a lot sharper than some of the shots he's thrown already. Oh, that left to the body, he's hurt. Oh, oh, tremendous. Not saying, not no, I think. And the referee is saying that that wasn't legal. Oh, he's just saying he threw himself into the, into the ropes. And Bostan continues to go to the body with 40 seconds to go in round six. There was a real, a real low shot there from Boston. Only had to take a right hand there from Martin. So Boston in the mind of Marcus McDonald continuing to stray low. But those punches, illegal or not, are definitely having an effect. You can just see the back of Martin in front of us here, and I can see how wide the elbows are. I think he needs to work that. Oh, he's hurt! And that's a tremendous shot, and that might be the end of the contest. It might be the end of the resilience. Of course, he's going to try to get up, but referee Marcus McDonald has seen enough, and that's a good decision by the referee because Martin had taken so much, and then Bostan lands one of the sweetest punches of the contest as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 49 seconds of round number eight as referee Marcus McDonald calls a halt to this contest. Your winner by TKO and the new Commonwealth Silver Super Welterweight Champion, the Starboy, Junaid Boston. Right, you both know the rules of boxing, I've explained to you. Obey my sons at all times, watch your race and keep it clean. Any questions? Let's go to work. The crowd's in flow now, isn't he? <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely stuff. Contest. <laughs> good shot. Yeah, that was a good shot. Better response to the impact from, from McGrail. He took them shots well, Leach, but he started this eighth round, how he finished the seventh. McGraw, busy, sharp, focused, switched on. Really, really starting to put a dent in Leach now. A few more jabs, a nice left hand again from McGraw. He can a few more jabs, though, as he's got Leach backed up. Just set the traps, get the rhythm behind that jab to the body, but... He's having it all his own way here. Oh, again, another left hand. And see the, the head movement, just taking this thing out of the shot, Leach. That was a better left hand from McGrail there, because he punched right through the target, rather than just touch and move back. He rocked McGrail a little bit there. McGrail showing good fortune to carry on, but I tell you what, he felt that. And that's good mentally as well for a guy who's just been knocked out to take a he's taken a few good shots tonight and still let the fire back. Hasn't panicked. Oh cut. Cut of the right eye there, I think, of uh, Peter McGrail. And that really stands as a blemish on this performance for McGrail. Doesn't look too bad. Closing seconds, and McGrail literally skipping to victory here. And that occurring in the last round. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds here in Liverpool, we go to the judges' score totals. Howard Foster, 100 to 90. Michael Alexander and Steve Gray both scored the belt 99 to 91. All three for your winner. By unanimous decision, and
and the new WBA International Super Bantamweight Champion, Peter Blood McGrail. Well, he was saying throughout the build-up that the one he wants is the rematch against Dorico O'Quinn, but he is back in the winning vein. Boxing on the zone, sponsored by William Hill.